I can't really believe I am making this video. You know what guys, it's getting worse. There are so many world record holders being banned, suspended, and it is driving me insane. Sometimes it's for the most minor of things, like violating a biological passport whereabouts. Did you guys know that many years ago I covered a race on my channel, which was a Valencia 10k road race. This is one of the fastest 10k races in the world. It featured Julian Wanders, it features Ronis Kipruto, it features so many top world class runners that to be totally honest with you, we all knew this was going to be the fastest race in history or at least very close to it. The start was aggressive, it was frantic and quite frankly it was a bit of a panic for a lot of these runners. Some of the elites went straight to the front at paces which were just outright lethal. Far too fast for a lot of these guys running the first 400 meters in around 58 seconds. That's crazy, that's pretty much sprinting. Now at this point in the race we were looking at one athlete who was really under the radar. This is Ronitz Kipruto. Ronitz Kipruto was a really, really strong athlete. And in this particular race, no one knew that he was actually targeting the world record, which at that point stood at around 26.30. Now in this point in the race, we're looking at some of the other runners here catching up with the lead group, which now tells us that they have in fact slowed down slightly. Another runner to pay attention to is Julian Wanders. Julian Wanders is up there and his goal in this race was to break the European record for the 10k distance on the road, which I think, if I remember rightly, was held by Mo Farah. Now at this point in the race, we got a large lead group. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine athletes all together in this lead group, which is not what Ronitz Kipruto wants. He needs to get rid of these guys, but it's early days. They're only three minutes in. They are four seconds down on the world record. As you can see there, the splits being shown to us in the bottom right corner. So right now, even Julian Wanders is actually running faster than world record pace, which is a bit gutless. It's a bit crazy. I have to say the first kilometer was around 238, 237. So that's pretty crazy. A lot of these guys here are running way too fast than they actually can handle. So they're going to end up finishing this race in a very painful and slow way. Six minutes into the race, we're looking at Ronis Kipruto pulling away slightly from Julian Wanders. Runix is looking extremely strong there in the middle of this group. And if you've seen this race before, you'll know that Runix Kipruto went on to win this race, but not just win. He won it in style in the fastest time a human has ever recorded in history. Now, I wanted to revisit this race before we go into the details of what actually happened in our community. If you're interested in hearing my opinions, then definitely stay till the end, as I will give my controversial opinions at the very end. My opinions have got me banned from athletic clubs around the whole of the UK. They've got me kicked out of competing in any competition in England. So uh, I have, think it's well worth waiting for my opinion if I were you. So Ronis Kipruto is an athlete who is definitely really, really under the radar. When I watched his race, I didn't really know who he was. I didn't know how, quick, how fast his times were. And honestly, watching this race, me, I was looking at Julian Wanders because he was still on pace for a world record seven minutes in. Now, eight minutes and 53. Again, they are now 10 seconds faster than the world record split so i'm thinking okay julian's looking relaxed i mean he looked powerful at this point but if you guys have followed this sport for a long time you'll know that since this race julian wanders hasn't been able to get back to any recognizable fitness at all he's actually burnt out and gone through many many injuries which has been worrying this 3k in an unbelievable time of 7 minutes and 53 seconds. <laughs> That's crazy. That is a 3k time on the road that is very fast. And I had, I'm really thinking right now, as we look at the front, we've got Ronis Kipruto now moving aside from the pacer 
and they can't keep up. It's now his turn. They're almost halfway. They're approaching the halfway mark. We're looking at some of the splits right now for the original world record, I believe. And something is looking like it's going to give. Yep, there we go. We have Julian getting dropped now. It's ever so subtle, but they're just moving away now every step. Run is Caputo at the front there of Kenya has a very aggressive running form. His form is very, very fast. His cadence is extremely rapid. Here we also have signs of Julian Wanders really starting to slow, while Ronix at the front here, all on his own, is speeding up. He is now 16 seconds faster than the world record. This is shaping up to be a mega run 4K split in 10 minutes and 39 seconds, where the world record holder before him ran it in 10 minutes and 55 seconds. Obviously, we know that Ronix is now running in no man's land, which is very, very difficult. He's only just gone past halfway, the first 5k, but he's looking smooth. He's looking very clean. He's looking right. He's ready to run something fast. But when I watch this race, it's only a matter of time. You have to wait to see what actually happens. The shorter the distance, the more you need someone to run with. It's faster, it's more aggressive, perhaps the wind is going to affect you more. There are many factors, and I think that Ronis Capruto was really disappointed that at this part in the race, there was no one for him to run with. That didn't seem to affect him though. He's still going strong, 17 minutes on the clock, and we're now going to be looking at the 7 and 8k splits. I think that Ronix is looking really, really strong here. He has an interesting form because if you look, you can see how almost pitter-patter-like his uh, legs are. It's really hard to explain, but Ronix was an athlete who loved wearing minimal shoes. He was a huge fan of the Takumi Sen. He was a huge fan of some of those Adi Zero shoes with minimal heel stacks. And the stack heights are so small on some of those Adidas shoes that it's really like the running shoes from back in the 80s and 90s. is very minimal kind of plate or anything like that. So here we go. He's getting even faster. Through to 5k in 13 minutes and 18 seconds. That is a 26 second increase on the world record. I'm a bit surprised that the world record holder went through that slow in the first 5k. Only 13.44. Uh, maybe it was a big negative split for that world previous uh, world record before Ronix Capruto. But right now we're looking at uh, Julian Wanders here really struggling. I mean, the guy has basically been left, but he's so lucky he's got someone to run with here. The uh, African in front of him is doing a great job of helping him out. And this is allowing him to target the European record in this race because if this African runner wasn't here, I think that Julian would have a much tougher time having to run all of this way, basically half of the race, all by himself. Because as the camera just showed us behind, there is no one with Julian or this African. He has basically got space in front and behind for a good 100 or 300 meters. Now, don't forget, this is the Valencia 10K. So what would it be if we didn't give respect to some of the fastest Spanish runners? I have to say a big respect to all of these guys and also the top elite women in this race. But the highlight of today's video is not the elite women. It is actually the race of Ronix Capruto. And then I will talk about what has happened in recent news after this race. It's very important you stay tuned until the end to hear what has happened, how it happened, why it happened, and what my controversial opinion is on this issue with them banning and removing the 10k world record. It's crazy news. So here we go with another split 34 seconds faster. So they've he slowed slightly on the world record. But I think that's because the former world record holder actually increased the pace between the five and six kilometer mark. Now, Ronix is still in no man's land. He is a good, I mean, looking at about half a minute in front of second place right now. He's running really strong. 22 minutes about to be on the clock. No one's stopping him. Just got to be careful here because a lot of these scooterists, one mistake, one wrong turn, and they could really hurt someone and make a big mistake. You've got to put a lot of trust in these organizers of races. It's great to see they do so much work for these races, and I highly respect them. Without them, we wouldn't have this footage. 
in order to criticize and commentate and just react to. You know what, Ronis Kipruta at this point was showing signs of fatigue. He was starting to grimace and he was running a bit funny. I don't know why, but when he came into these bends, he was hugging the bend a bit too wide, which to me was interesting because a 10K race, every corner matters. You know, a 10K race is short compared to a lot of these guys. And don't forget that Ronis Kipruto has run well under one hour for the half marathon. So he is also an athlete who has endurance on his side 22 and a half minutes in and we're looking at a time of possibly around about 26 and a half minutes for this 10k if ronis can speed up then we never know right now we're going to stay till the end with ronix on the cameras he is grimacing like crazy you can see his teeth through that smile and he is trying everything he can to maintain this pace one thing that really really shocks me is just how easily his body can run at this pace i know that he's probably feeling a ton of pain right now but the truth is when i watch him run this pace it doesn't look like it doesn't look like four minute per mile pace i'll be honest he makes it look so really relaxed and so really easy here's another split come in there eight kilometers in 21 11 48 seconds faster than the former 10k world record split at that point right now we're looking at a possible huge world record in this race i think the runners is going to run around 26 30 it's been a year or well i haven't watched this race in many years actually because it happened many many years ago and i was watching this race thinking okay ronis kipruto is going to break this world record but it's a question of how much is he going to break it by. When you watch this athlete, you want to see just how crazy times he's going to run. Here are the bikers and the cameramen being instructed to move to one side. As Ronix comes through for the last 300 meters here under these uh, banners slash floats. He's got to hold it together now because this last few hundred meters, he's going to tie up. He's going to be in a lot of pain. And I have to say that right now, he still looks strong. I mean, he's not even lost his form. His biomechanics are clean. He's still got that really fast cadence and crazy fast turnover. There's nothing I can fault him on. He has one of the best running forms in the entire running world. And here he is coming through for the world record. So this was the official world record back many years ago. It was a time of 26 minutes and 24 seconds officially by Ronitz Kipruto of Kenya. Okay, so now that's over and done with, we'll give a quick mention to Julian Wanders and then we'll get down to the real details of what's actually been happening. I'll bring up a news article from the BBC, one of my favorite sources who I believe are credible in instances and situations like athlete news um, not everything don't get me wrong i'm not saying they are uh, trustable with everything especially after what happened in recent years so right now we're looking at a sprint finish with julian wanders this is phenomenal i mean if this african wasn't here with julian he wouldn't have broken the record i don't think he wouldn't have run this fast i mean it's phenomenal to see i haven't seen julian wanders sprint like this in many many years great running took him all the way to the line 27 13 what a great run by julian wanders so congratulations to julian and um, i hope he gets better with his injuries and issues because i'm missing him i'm missing his performances on the european circuit i've kept an eye out for him but he has been really struggling to get back to any form of fitness right let's move on to the real bit of this video Right now, we're going to be looking at a BBC article. It's about uh, Ronitz Kipruto being, well, banned for six years, basically. I, I'd class this as a suspension because he's allowed to come back, so I wouldn't class it as a permanent ban. Um, but he has been banned for six years, which is a long time in an athlete's life. I mean, I don't know if Kipruto will come back from that. He does have age on his side, but he would have to train for a very long time to try and hold his fitness and maintain it along with that they have removed his 10k world record and um yeah i mean he's been banned for six years now let's read a bit of this he's been banned for six years because of irregularities found in his athlete biological passport 
The 24-year-old, he's younger than me uh, by one year, so he's got age on his side. If he was to try and outlast this ban, he would be 30. Anyway, let's get back. The 24-year-old will be stripped of his record, which he set in Valencia in 2020. He also got a 10,000 meter bronze medal at the World Champs in 2019. He will be banned until May 2029 after being previously suspended on the 11th of May 2023 for violating anti-doping rules. An ABP is an electronic record which tracks an athlete's biomarkers over their career. If these markers change dramatically, it alerts officials that the athlete might be doping. The tribunal rejected Capruto's defense, concluding the cause for the abnormalities in the ABP is more likely to be due to blood manipulation, such as through the use of combinant, co recombinant human erythoprotein, or EPO, said the Athletics Integrity Unit, which was enforcing the ban. Uh, so yes, I mean, in other words, blood manipulation, guys, is where you take out your blood, freeze it, spin it, reoxygenate it, and then inject it back into your body in a week or a month's time. Um, this is something that aids your performance by making your blood volume thicker, higher, your oxygen levels, your red blood cells way higher. Because when you take blood, your body will create more blood to replace that. However, if you then put that blood you took back in your body, you'll have extra blood and you'll basically be manipulating your own body in a way that's extremely unhealthy, might I add. Do not ever do that, okay? But it will aid your performance. Blood manipulation is extremely difficult to detect and test for, and the way that the authorities do it is they will simply take your normal blood levels over the course of months and years and they will take regular testings in this passport and if they come up as different or abnormal to what they usually are then that would mean that you have been manipulating your own blood so unless you're going to manipulate your blood forever every single month so it's a new normal which you'll probably end up dying at 25 if you do that then you're going to be caught by doing this this is very disappointing to see Kipruto, I think, did actually counter and try to re um, d defend himself. This whole story is extremely disappointing to see. It makes me sad, it makes me angry and upset. I have to say that justice and the truth must prevail in these situations, and wherever money is involved, there will be cheaters. I'm not saying anyone is a cheater, as I'm not involved in this situation, but I hope that the righteousness comes out of this situation Please subscribe to my channel if you're new to stay up to date with all of the latest races and leave a like before you go. Thank you.